From here on, nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. A nickel bag gets sold in the park. I want in. As we take a look at tonight's UPS efficiency update, last year holding opponents to 24% on third down. And here, Herbie, is a third and 11, a tough way to go for the Wolverines. Denard stays in the pocket. Now he'll scramble out. There is a penalty flag. Denard is short of the first down, but there is a penalty flag thrown in the backfield at the 30-yard line. And a helmet did come off. And remember, there's a rule on this. They have changed the rule, and a helmet was off. I see Hubbard picking it up. If it was taken off by a face Personal mask. Foul. Face mask. Offense number 77. Good call, Brian. The left tackle, penalty. Taylor Lewan. Repeat the set up faces. Look at Banner shifting there. Second down. Seven yards to go. Denard is back again to pass. Going to throw it deep. Got Gallon open. Put it in his hands. Gallon toward the end zone, just short of it. Down at the one yard line. Sanceri finally bringing him down, but it's a 71 yard gain and a little bit of Robinson magic here. The Alabama defense felt that they were in position. I don't think they thought he could throw the football this far. I mean, he threw that ball about 55 or 60 yards downfield. The junior college corner blue just kind of tries to catch up with Gallon, but that ball is perfectly thrown over his shoulder. They're playing bump and run on Gardner, and they'll run the other way with Robinson. And not much doing as the Bama defense rides with it. And Nico Thomas Rawls now on a big third down here, folks. He's the running back alongside Denard. I'm sure Bama's going to keep an eye on 16 if he tries to keep it himself. They're going to run the option. Pitch it. Here's Rawls. Can he get there? No, because Sinceri unloads on the running back. Number three did his job. He had the pitch man, Herbie. You're a defensive end. you got to make a decision on third and short. Number 16's going to come at you. The first thing you want to do is get the ball out of his hand. So as he comes down, Hubbard takes him out, forces the pitch, and that is perfect execution by Vinny Sanceri. Fills the hole and knocks Rawls out well short of the first down. Somewhere there are a couple of former LSU players are <laughs> saying, I feel your pain because LSU tried that yeah. option in the championship game and got nowhere with it. Into the boundary. Play action. Denard going to go down that far sideline. Gardner and he's tripped. That's going to be interference. And Sanceri, that's going to be 15 yards and an automatic first down. Well, it's a slow developing play where Denard Robinson sitting in that pocket and he needs a lot of time. Now, Nick was complaining that the ball Ball's was not, not catchable. catchable. That's right. And I think, and you look at the replay, I think that's what Sanceri is saying, too. There's no way that this receiver has a chance. Gardner there has a no chance to get to the ball. That's, that's why they picked it up. And they do change it. Yep. And they say it was not catchable. So another one of second and eight. Eight man front. Play action. Waits, waits, waits. That goes deep. Round three and almost intercepted by Sanceri, who had deep center field on the coverage. And I'm sitting there looking at that play, and I'm thinking, we've not called Roy Roundtree's name yet tonight. Denard Robinson just put the ball up in the air and just hoped that Roundtree would eventually be able to run to the football, but Sinceri is back there because of his discipline and awareness. It's a balanced Roy outside, Round which is where they were late in the year last year with Junior Hemingway. Underneath, giving it to him, and uh, that's a completion to Mike Kwiatkowski.